The Rock Cycle by Kate O'Donnell. The Rock Cycle describes how rocks change as they move through the environment. There are three main types of rocks on Earth. Igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. Like the water cycle, the rock cycle does not have a beginning, but the first rocks on Earth appeared when the hot liquid lava that made up the entire surface of the forming Earth cooled. When wind and water weather and erode igneous rocks, they become sediments. Sediments are small pieces of rocks, minerals, plants, or animals. For example, sand is a sediment. Over time, sediments build into many layers. The top layers put immense pressure on the bottom layers. Compaction and cementation turn the sediments into sedimentary rock. Compaction is the process of individual sediments being squeezed together, and cementation is the process of dissolved minerals gluing the sediments into rock as water moves through the layers. Over millions of years, the movement of tectonic plates can force rocks from the surface of the earth underground. If sedimentary rock or igneous rock gets buried deep under earth's surface, the high temperatures and pressure turn them into metamorphic rock. Weathering and erosion, as well as the movement of tectonic plates, eventually bring metamorphic rock to the surface. Once at the surface, weathering can turn it into sediments that will someday become sedimentary rock. If any of the rocks are forced too deep underground, the heat from the mantle will melt them. We call melted rock magma when it is underground. When it reaches the surface, we call it lava. When the magma or lava cools, it becomes igneous rock. Through the rock cycle, any type of rock can become any other type of rock. A sedimentary rock deep underground can become a metamorphic rock, then melts and then cools to become igneous rock. Some parts of the rock cycle happen quickly. In Hawaii, you can watch as lava flowing from a volcano cools into an igneous rock. However, most of the rock cycle is so unbelievably slow that we can't see it. Metamorphic rocks discovered in Greenland are 3.8 billion years old. The rocks that make up the continental crust are much older than the rocks that make up the oceanic crust. Continental crust is less dense than oceanic crust, so the dense ocean plates are forced under other plates into the mantle at subduction zones. New oceanic crust replaces the old crust at mid-ocean ridges, where magma from deep within the crust pushes into the ocean floor and cools it into igneous rock. Like the rocks of the oceanic crust, the rocks of the continental crust are moving between the three types of rock, they just do it much more slowly. The end.